this is not how it was in 2013. This is not, but this is crazy. I mean, come on. No. Uh, I am video recording this because it was Director Ogulin, Yannis Ogulin, police director of Novo Mesto, who stated, if you will be staying inside here on the computer, we will have to do something. Well, this is not how it was in 2013 when I was hospitalized. However, right here was a big ass TV that was blowing through the house to the neighbors and inside of the little room where I was down the hallway doing my well, trying to stay alive. I wasn't doing anything other than trying to stay alive. This here, this area here that you see, this place, this is basically where I sat, like this, I sat like this, like this, yeah. And um, I had a police and the ambulance vehicle coming through like this inside. Yeah? And it was a guy who came like this, yeah? and he did to me like this, he pushed me. They started to shovel me without having any kind of reason whatsoever uh, for doing this kind of stuff. But I was lucky. I was lucky, according to the British Royals, who appeared here for about two months prior to my hospitalization. Um, claiming me that I'm going to be hospitalized. Domestic violence was rampant inside of the home. Uh, but I was lucky, according to British royals, I will never forget. It was even <laughs> 86 years old now, Prince Edward, Duke of Edward, Duke of, uh, Duke of Kent, that appeared, which was like rather fucking crazy. Everything that was wrong was wrong with me, with nobody else. Uh, that's what they claimed, that the violence that went on in the United States of America, in Britain, whenever they hijacked me. In Germany, this was impossible to describe. But anyways, let's talk about the domestic psychiatric hospitalization in 2013. So it was Prince Charles who stated, you know, he stated, is at least you can do that for me. Uh, you can, can you do at least that for me? They evaluated area where they would attack me. Uh, and they made that stuff as impressive as possible. They, they tried to make that stuff as impressive as possible. And that's what they introduced to me. It's going to be like impressive. We're going to help you out. Uh, so Prince Charles asked, can you at least do that? Can you do that for me? Can you do that for not at least? Can you do that for me? They had the whole thing, the whole program coordinated with the Slovenian politicians, with the Slovenian police. And they told me, you're going to have to go to the psychiatric hospital. Uh, but there is one thing we can still do for you. We will help you out. And I said, yeah, well, what's that? Um, you're going to be attacked during hospitalization and we will have this video recorded. And so this is a Kirka pharmaceutical right there. And it's exactly where uh, I was, a police insisted me uh, in front of British Royals, they will video record this incident here in the terrace from our house from so that it would be also used to point out that I was uh, attacked, but that I have to go, of course, inside a psychiatric hospital because I, that I did, that I was guilty that I did something. Yeah, this is how it, this stuff was. So the British royals wanted to encharge themselves of, you know, what they wanted to do right now is for me to go right down, oh yeah, and by the way, attack was video recorded and stuff like this. So, you know, they'll come out and say, well, yeah, and who did this? Who did this for you? Who did this for you? You know, who did this for you? You know, 
that's basically that's how it is when they caused impossible to even describe health wise damage uh, they started to insist me in 2015 talking about the British Royals that uh, it's not over that they're gonna help me out you're gonna be alive we're gonna get you out we're gonna save you you know this is basically your family from London London Cabal 1-800 London Cabal that's how they operate